Absolutely. So he was born in Japan and then um, he came to Paris and then he started his first uh, brand, Jungle Jack, in 1970. So Jungle Jack was a fashion brand. And uh, I started uh, Jungle Jack Kenzo. He yeah, yeah. retired at the age of 60, so he left Kenzo in 2000 to retire, to travel. Because uh, um, I was, I had uh, uh, 60 years only travel. So Kenzo retired and he wanted to travel, and then after a year of traveling, enjoying his life, he just realized that he was bored and that he missed working and being creative. So, uh, after he retired from Kenzo, he did a lot of different collaboration with several uh, brands ranging from uh, Rochebourgois to many others like Avon for the perfume. And then after that he realized that he also wanted maybe to start a new business, to have a new brand, and that's how he imagined at K3. So K3 is for, it stands for K as in Kenzo, obviously, and the tree uh, means um, Enzo, so if you read it, it can be read as Enzo as well. But three is also the balance, the, uh, the, the balance, the harmony in the Japanese culture. And you also have the, Rom uh, the Roman letter, the K, and also the Japanese tree. And it's really the, this blend of Est and West that Kenzo really embodies today. Yes, of course, Japan really influences his work, but in a different way for a different project. For example, for this K3, they used a lot of the Kintsugi. But, for example, on a, how to identify them? So, Angel Bert and Kezu really work closely together. And for example, they use the Kintsugi as a um, sort of visual um, identity for the brand. On ne sait pas beaucoup Japon. Et c'est lui qui m'a dit Kintsugi qui est génial. Et c'est génial. Et on a pris. Quelque chose d'identique. Euh, depuis un certain moment, j'ai été. Comme je l'ai dit, après qu'il a quitté Kenzo, il voulait être tiré, de travailler, mais après, il voulait faire quelque chose d'autre and to start a new adventure. And then Kenzo is very is always celebrating um, lifestyle. He's really into lifestyle. He loves to, to have people at home to organize party. He used to have a very big house in the city. And lifestyle for him therefore is really important and he wanted to bring um, his way of uh, living into the house of the people and that's why he imagined K3. He says he's not really sure, but uh, for him, he says that there's a real work on the fabrics, on the patterns, on the color, a way of finding harmony, and he really wants to bring uh, positivity and joy through those patterns, intricate pattern, and that is also why he wanted uh, all the furniture to be simple, so they could um, enhance and, and show the pattern properly. Because if you look at all the furniture, they're very, they have a simple line. Côté Fairlamont. So Crafton is really important uh, for K3. So first of all, as I said before, the Kintsugi is a way to uh, promote uh, the Japanese craftsmanship, but also the other craftsmanship. So for the whole collection, they really wanted everything to be handmade, whether it's ceramics, or we also have big screens that you can see at the K3 showroom in Paris. And the screens are made in Japan by, uh, by local artisans, and they take hours and hours of work. So, um, short story, the craftsmanship has a very central um, position within the 
parce que le Justement, on a parlé avec Ingerval, qu'est-ce qu'on va faire So the idea would be to create a different universe, always, always, uh, of course, always inspired by uh, oniric uh, nature, uh, organic shapes, but they would like to develop other things, because today we have three, we have Sequoia here, Pastel, you have Shogun next door, which is more black, monochromatic and gold, and we have another one that you can see at the showroom that is more red and pink. So the idea is to continue this while developing other uh, segments. Ça dépend, mais on peut. Pourquoi pas Oui, oui. Pourquoi pas Même hôtel ou il est. He said that he wanted his way to be very, let's say, flexible and that he can be fit into any type. 